Hello again. Now, the sum if function. What is it? What does it do? Well, you may already be familiar with the sum function, but not the sum if function. But the difference is not too difficult to understand. The sum function you would use equals sum open bracket, and you would put cell references in there to add up cells between them, like A1 to A9, and it would add up all those numbers between those cells. Well, what the sum if function will do, it will add up numbers, but only if they meet a certain criteria. Let's give you an example. Say, for instance, you went shopping and you bought wine, eggs, milk, and cheese. And you wanted to know how much money that you spent on cheese. Something that you really need to know, isn't it? So you can use the sum if function to do that. So let's get started. Hi, welcome to my sum if function here. And as mentioned in the introduction, here I've got my products. Uh, these are the dates that I bought them. Okay. Uh, this is the price per product. Here we have the quantity and the total amount. And over here, if I just zoom in a bit here, you can see I have my eggs, meat, wine, and cheese. I want to know how much money I spent on each of them. So let's work out eggs first, shall we? So if we click where we want our, resu want our results, and I'm going to use this little FX button here at the top. So if you've not seen this one before, just click on that little FX button there at the top. It'll bring up our insert function box. So I have, I'm just going to type at the top there, sum if, and then click on go. So click on go, just here. There we go. And then I can see sum if here at the very top. Okay, there's also a sum ifs one. We'll tackle that one another day. So let's have a look at the sum if one there. So click on sum if, click on okay. And we're to start um, entering in our arguments. So the first argument within the sum if function will be the range. It's the range of cells we want evaluated or the ones where the products are in because we want to calculate how much money we spent on eggs. So that's going to be the B column at the top. Notice I click on the B column at the very top there. Now the criteria in this regard here is the condition or the criteria that we want to meet. So in case, what do we want to look for in that column? Well, we want to look for eggs. Now we can type eggs in there if we want to, but we have eggs in this H2 cell just here. So I'm going to click in cell H2. So we're going to look for eggs there. And then the final argument is the sum range. So I'm going to click in sum range there. I'm just going to move this box out of the way a little bit so you can see. I'll just move it down a little bit so you can see the formula. If I click now on the E column, so now you can already see the total is adding up there. So you can see my total there as 187 pounds and six pence. So there we go. 187 pounds and six pence is the total. So click on OK. And there's my total there. Just going to click on the pounds and pence button just here at the top. It's the actually accounting button. That's that format there. So click on that. Brilliant. So now armed with that. I can now auto fill this down by dragging down. Let's make sure I get the right one. I can auto fill it or double click to auto fill down. So I can get and know how much money I spent on each of the items. So pretty straightforward. Please subscribe and give the video a thumbs up if you feel that you enjoyed it and watch out for more training videos. Thank you so much for watching.